Hey YouTube, it's Demetri, and today I just wanted to talk a little bit here about the DFW Quaint Quant Conference. I know uh, I've mentioned a little bit about it in the past, just going to do a final push here um, to kind of show you guys what we have done, what we're putting together. I'm really excited because I think this is the first Quant Conference to ever have been done in DFW. Now, I've been to American Banker Association conferences for the banks here, so it's only for the sell side. Um, it's really only for the large banks and it's kind of a private -y thing. And then I've been to like the FRM who used to have meetings in Dallas, uh, DFW area, and then they just backed out because there wasn't enough people involved. So they left. And other than that, I haven't really seen any quant conferences of any sorts here in the DFW area. So again, this is gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really small uh, in the sense that it's going to be, I think we're selling up to 50 tickets. Um, we're gonna bring in some other people from Agora as well, people that are going to attend that work in our firm and do IT and have other interests um, in the kind of quant space within itself here. But I'm really excited because the speaker list turned out very, very good this year. So let me pull up uh, the list here. Um, we have uh, Shriyash, I apologize if I mispronounce that. I'm going to be presenting on asset level Monte Carlo aggregation engine. Um, we have strategies for missing data imputation by Stanislav. Uh, we have does quant stand for quantum? So discussion on quant quantum computing here in the finance space um, from Mihail. And then we are going to have the challenges of NLP in finance by Bennett. And then we're going to have a really cool uh, quantitative career discussion kind of panel here, which I'm going to host. Uh, and we have two people um, that I know locally, uh, again, personal friends here, that I think is going to be an absolute amazing stance kind of discussion point here. Um, and let me just talk about the panel real quick. I'm hoping this is going to be not just a like, you're a student kind of perspective of career development. Um, both of these individuals, so Brian Lois, uh, shout out to Brian. Uh, I've known him for quite a few years now in the DFW area. Uh, interesting background, worked for AT&T, uh, worked for Capital One doing quantitative finance on like auto space, which is what I currently work and have worked in for the last seven, eight years here. Um, and then he's working now at Walmart, again, doing data science across the field here. So it's a really interesting career perspective. Uh, he's also teaching, I believe, as an adjunct professor at UTD uh, in statistics. So it's interesting to see how the careers kind of evolve, how you kind of come in and out of the finance space, um, how these skills can be applied across the spectrum here. Again, he's been doing this for many years. So understanding, I think, the career aspects of developing a career, looking at enjoyment of jobs, um, also looking at other factors that impact decisions on moving companies and developing skills. Um, he'll be a great asset on that. Uh, the other panelist is gonna be Fasika. Uh, he is currently the head of model development um, at Comerica Bank. So again, he's worked there much longer than I was there. So I just joined in 2014 and I had left. Um, but I think he's going to provide a very unique and different perspective on this. Again, solely in the model development space here, going to be on the sell side and the banking side. Um, again, talking about careers across the entire spectrum here. We're not looking at just like a junior, how do you get a job, but more or less like looking at different trends and patterns for hiring and, you know, how you develop those skills across the career and what skill sets make somebody better for a promotion, for example. So I will be the host of the panel. Uh, and I'm really excited just to kind of think about these topics uh, and kind of help a lot of you that are even like mid career here. So, I mean, you could be 30, 35, such as myself, there's still a lot of runway above. Uh, and these individuals will be able to provide a great perspective on that here. Now, the other speakers that I just mentioned, as well, which I think is why this conference is going to be more unique than probably any other conference I've seen, uh, is going to be because these other individuals are working at firms, for example, um, on the buy side, the asset management side here, so the investing side. So again, we're going to have, um, for example, I'm really excited for the the quantum pieces I mentioned, learning about quantum computers and where this could head. Um, I know there are a lot of big firms, for example, such as uh, IBM and Wells Fargo doing a bunch of research. Um, Bet Mihail is here locally uh, in DFW with an asset management firm. So understanding their perspective, he's going to debunk a bunch of the misconceptions um, around quantum computing as well. So I'm excited to hear that. That's just not my area of expertise or interest. So it's gonna be a big learning opportunity for myself. Um, and then also Bennett is going to be talking about the challenges of NLP and finance, again, from a asset management perspective here. Um, now I am looking 
I am personally going to these looking to gain information that I can apply now back into um, the sell side here. So the conference itself is going to be this interesting mix um, of expertise and experience here. You'll see, for example, Stanislav uh, has experience in the auto side as well. Um, it's kind of merging together um, the full spectrum of buy side, sell side, really kind of throwing that out the window and looking at this of quantitative finance as a whole. Um, I think this will be a great opportunity to network and meet people. Um, I am absolutely impressed and amazed because some people have reached out to me that they are actually purchase tickets uh, and they're going to be traveling to DFW from other areas like New York or Florida um, or Chicago or other areas to come down here to learn and kind of rub shoulders um, with the quant space here in the DFW area here. So if you have not gotten tickets, uh, I'll put a link below to the event. You can look and see, um, again, more information on on the speakers, um, and then you can purchase tickets if you'd like to attend. Again, we are down, I think, to like 19 tickets, maybe 20 tickets left remaining. Um, but I'm really excited because it's going to be a fun time to meet other people and chat. And I'm sure I will be crazily busy running around talking to as many of you as possible uh, and making sure this whole event is getting pulled off. A huge, huge thank you here um, to Agora specifically. So the company I work for, Agora Data, they are the ones hosting this. So they are doing all this crazy stuff on the back end with me on like marketing and making sure like food and lunches are going to be catered and brought in and timing and access to the building and all these things you don't think about when you plan a conference. Um, so a special thank you to Shelly. Um, she works in our marketing. She runs our marketing department. Uh, she has been absolutely amazing and on top of this. Uh, and a big thank you to Matt as well. Matt is my boss. Um, he's been the one that's been really pushing to get this conference kind of kicked off here. Uh, it was me kind of saying, well, maybe we should do a little bit of a meetup. Um, but Matt was like, no, let's make this a really fun and exciting event. And let's add as much value as possible uh, into the quant finance space. So Anyways, I look forward to seeing you guys there. If you are attending, uh, if you are not attending, maybe we can catch you another year. Um, we even have speakers that wanted to present this year but had conflicts and they want to come next year. And of course, this is the first year. So I don't know if we're going to do it next year, but I'm really hoping we will. Um, again, tickets on sale now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And as always, until next time. Hey.